mental health hearing the very day of the shooting. Police also say they found a suicide note at his home. Michael George, CBS News, New York. Yeah, he I don't want to be I don't want to be a dick here and judge a book by its cover, but I, uh, it doesn't look like Mensa's beating down his door. That do yeah, no, that book looks fat and crazy. Um, I, I you, agree you know, with that. He wasn't plotting at all, man. That shit, that shit was like he probably forgot all about everything until he had to go in, and then it reminded him, like, man, fuck these people, because yeah. you came back that day. Yeah, no doubt, dude. There's so many. Right, yeah, he was on. He was on his way to court and passed that place. Was like, oh yeah. yeah. But things were so many jobs. Everybody's hiring. Yeah. Well, it makes no sense. It makes no sense. <laughs> It's a new day for the U.S. Army's 80th Training Command as they welcome in with dignity and honor their first female leader, Brigadier General Patricia R. Wallet. <laughs> <laughs> Diversity hire, Brigadier Deer Comet. Wow. Eric, you're going to make this me take dead. medication, oh. man. Jesus, this is painful. <laughs> Yo, this is this is this is this is the, this is your life. What was that show back in the seventies? This is your life. This yeah. is your life. It's a new day for the U.S. Army's 80th Training Command as they welcome in with dignity and honor their first female leader, Brigadier General Patricia R. Wallace. Wallace wiped back tears in the change of command ceremony. I remember when I was. Uh, a captain, no one would ever thought that would be General Wallace. People who know me, I'm just trying to get it done, living it. It was right. So he's just got a little Should've bit been. of He will be tasked one. with leading the 80th Training Command, which is better up. known as the Army's Training School. It's headquartered here in Richmond, but has hundreds of facilities. Oh, shit. Who's this chick? God damn. Sisters. Sisters. It yeah, man. <laughs> so, uh, it's going to be sisters. It's going to be like, it's gonna, what's that movie? The Goji? The um, Woman King? The whole U.S. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Go, oh, I thought you were talking about the homie movie, bro. <laughs> Sorry, bro. It's going to be like the Woman oh, King. Oh, peace, Mozzie. Yeah, man. Can't, yeah. can't run a household. Try the military. Right in 48 states with more than 4,000 instructors. Wallace is decorated in her achievements and is seasoned with decades of experience. Many experiences that include leadership roles. Came into for opportunity to get money to go to school. And then as the Army does, every few years there was another opportunity to excel, to get an education. Wallace took time to reflect on the significance in this new role and how it can inspire others. I want you to find your purpose um, and what you want to do in life and go after it and just keep at it. Um, there will be bumps in the road, uh, but reach out to me, your, your, your squad, your, your team. Um, and we'll help you get it get through it. She hopes to also pave a path forward for more women in leadership. Right now, women only make up about 22% of the command. It does come with some influence. Yeah, but that's 22% too much, man. Unfortunately. <laughs> I mean, but what's the, what's the percentage of women in the Army in general? It came, I don't think it's that much higher than that. So. It shouldn't be. It should, it should be, man. I mean... One out of every five commanders in the, in the army. That's army? crazy, dog. No, nah, yeah, man. I, I, and like you know, they're going after like working class kids, hood kids. I wonder how they feel about having a like they just trying to look up to somebody. You like you said, uh, uh, what was it trap? Like you using this military shit. How, how'd you feel about taking orders from that lady, so, telling you to hope and dream? So I. So I actually like end up going into the army like after I graduated from the high school, and like I can tell you that like there's a lot of people that get like captain roles just because they go to college. Like if you get a degree in the army, you immediately go up to um um to uh, officer uh, to officer, yeah, and wow. uh, just just off that. So a lot of the young just people, on having the college. So wow. so a lot of the sergeants and shit like that, like. Sergeants that went to like you know so they went through shit for real for real like mm -hmm. saw combat they don't respect them at all but they got to 
Yeah, when, that was what, that's why how Cass was getting murked in uh, Nam and shit, having to deal with them rich dudes coming in telling them what to do. Uh, it wasn't really until it wasn't until like nine. It was after nine eleven. More like we was fighting in Syria. No, nah, man, I think I think they've been using like a class system in in college system to have like rich people come in and tell people what to do while people while grunts that know more about the thing just so, gotta take orders. And those those officers don't even have to go through real basic training. Wow. So like you got a guy at the desk that's just telling you to go do something. And he's never even done it himself. But he's read all the books about it. Wow. Um, Eesh. Yeah. Uh, let's see what's going on. Um, what else is going on? Um, let's see what else is going on. Crime Insider sources confirming late this afternoon to me that that handgun was loaded. Police saying the student got combative with the school resource officers and administration when he was told to produce the gun. Unnerving news is students from Holman Middle School text message loved ones that their son it. was on lockdown. Susan Ahern was eating breakfast with her friend, a mother of a Holman student who received a text. They immediately made their way to Concourse Boulevard. My son was at Virginia Tech during the massacre, and uh, he was not shot, but as I say, bullets that miss often pierce the heart. He's a bond trader in New York now, and he, if that topic comes up, he will literally tear off a grown man. And Ryko police say an anonymous tip is why a school resource officer and administrators asked the student to produce the gun. Located the individual, uh, but that's when a struggle ensued. The officer hits a mayday button for backup to quickly arrive. We have the ability to call for additional assistance by hitting that uh, on our on our radio. Uh, it's a it's a safety feature for officers, our first responders, and it was activated. No shots fired, no injuries. And Ryko police charging the boy with three serious weapons charges. Crime Insider sources tell me the student is a 12-year-old seventh grader, and the gun was loaded. It's just what? terrible. <laughs> Yeah, it's tired of taking that shit. Yeah. Is this the same kid that brought bullets to school the day before? No, this is he was six. That's the six year old. Jesus that was, Christ. That was, that was Newport News. This is um Richmond. But Henrico was like the suburb suburbs. Like right here. Uh, Henrico's right there though. It's not far. It's it's like it's Henrico is like literally across the street from Richmond. But it's like once you get past like um that like the northern part, like north side of it, you get past Laburnum Avenue and all that, then it becomes like super, you know what I'm saying? It becomes super yeah, yeah. close to the suburbs. Yeah, yeah. Like, but it's a part of Henrico that's near the city, that's 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 kind of hood, man. I, I think that's a, I think this is a glider. Yeah, this is this is a glider area, but the, oh. the, the whole county isn't the whole county isn't yeah. like some of the counties black. Anybody that says uh if, uh number one. But pierces out. your heart Cancel. thing or whatever the fuck she said. That's a yeah. glider mm -hmm. ass school, bro. He been yeah. she's been thinking about that for months. Yeah, yeah, she got right, out that bleeding heart bumper sticker yeah. quote. Yeah. Mm. I'm surprised she didn't say copyright about it. <laughs> yeah. As I said, gun violence is the number one killer of children today. Now the lockdown went quickly to a lock and teach situation. Police praising the anonymous tipster this afternoon, adding the investigation is ongoing. You gotta mute yourself, Razzle. Uh, uh, sorry, I was trying to actually trying to mute myself. All right. You heard that? They got an anonymous tipster. That's how you know it was. That's how you know it went to, went to sun school. Yeah, that's good, man. Um, man, you see that? Like, you see that lady? That's what I'm saying. Gliders are the problem. White yeah, glider exactly. glider women are the worst, dog. They're ruining everything. But exactly, man. I agree with you on that. Yeah, man. Like but I've, been, I've been talking to my brother. I was like, uh, man, this next generation of, of 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 glider kids are not gonna be taking this shit. Like, yeah, right. You fucking just, crazy. Are you crazy? It's gonna be a big divide. It'll be a big divide of some people taking that shit and not. I noticed that every all the all the gliders on here. Are usually from like working class areas or from the hood or some shit like that. Yeah, they not here. These here, though, bro, is not a reflection of the society. These gliders here are like are are, are anomalies. I, I, I think even conservative gliders would find this channel a, a bit too much, man. Nah, man, they'd be like, yeah, man, tell them. 
That's what they be thinking. Everybody thinks this shit. They're just afraid to say it. Yeah, that's why I love coming. That's why I, I love this channel. Justice for Earl. Justice for Earl. Earl Moore Jr.'s family is vowing to make sure the paramedics charged with his death are held accountable. <laughs> they treated my son like he was an animal. My God. He was human. Thursday, their legal team, Justice including civil Was rights he rights acting rights like an animal? Wrongful death suit against Peggy Finley. Race beater. Cadigan and their employer, Lifestar Ambulance Service. All right. Think about it. These people went to work that day to fucking save people. And fucking now they're fucking fighting for their lives. And they act like this is the first black dude they came across and shit. Was right, like, you know, yeah. fuck that guy, man. I don't know what to do with him. His hair is weird, man. Why is his palms <laughs> pink? I'm not yeah. helping no pink palm motherfucker. I don't trust him. Like, yeah, that's why, and that's why I say the next generation of Gladys, because that's somebody's grandpa that's going through that. Yeah, it, it is amazing. I hate that they do that, man, that they act like, especially with a cop. Like, it's a cop in Baltimore, and they try to act like whatever case he's involved in now was the first time he ever saw a black person. <laughs> it's like, come on, he's a cop. It don't matter if you're a cop in Utah, Salt Lake City. If you're a fucking cop, you're encountering black people 24-7. All day. Peter Cadigan and their employer, Lifestar Ambulance Service. All right. It was the same day the paramedics appeared in court by video link from jail on charges of first-degree murder. You're going to have to walk because we ain't carrying you. Police body camera video captured Finley and Cadigan responding to Moore's home last month after he called 911 himself. Sit up. Sit up. Now. <laughs> oh my God. I am not playing with you tonight. Well, maybe he's, maybe how many times, I would like to know how many times they've been here. Because uh, th that's important. Because th this sounds like a related, th this doesn't sound like this is somebody who, who they don't know. I would be shocked that this, if they're talking to a guy that they don't know like this, this is absurd. But if this is somebody that they've been to the house multiple times, da, 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 they got a rapport with, I don't know. We'll see. Sit up. There we go. They're accused of killing the 35 year old by strapping him so tightly face down on a stretcher that he suffocated. When you look at that video, the reason it's so shocking is because they offer Earl no consideration. The video speaks for itself. But Finley's attorney, W. Scott Hankin, says the video proves his client did not commit a crime. It's tragic. A lot of tragic things happen in life. They are not necessarily criminal. And this is why. Edward Unsell is representing Cadigan. I don't see where the probable cause uh, exists that a crime has occurred. But ordinarily even when you have such a tragedy as the death of mr moore ordinarily the venue for these would be as crump has filed as a wrongful death case we're told yeah no matter what they do they're overcharging and i don't know why whether it's so it gets thrown out or whatever because first degree don't you have to have intent and forethought to do that well they're about to beat that case and then there's going to be a problem this is going to be free shoes. That prosecutors don't <laughs> play the body camera video in court today that the defense likely will. As for that wrongful death lawsuit, we have reached out repeatedly to the private ambulance company Lifestar for a comment, but they have not gotten back to us. Both Finley and Cadigan remain behind bars, each on a million dollars bond. Wow. I, I know one thing. I heard the whole story just then. They told me everything I needed to know. They started that video right at the perfect spot. Like, they just, all they do is fuck with fucking, uh, what is it, fuck with stories. I'd love to yeah. see a whole a whole video. What led up to that? And they, if they didn't strap him down, then he would have fallen off and then they'd have killed him from negligence, bro. He like, you can't wait for fighting. losing. Yeah, he may have been fighting with them. That's why they strapped him tight. Yeah, I mean, listen, man. Um, we, I, I, I stay. I keep you all posted on that story, man. He um, didn't look like he was putting up much of a fight. Yeah, I mean, we'll see. We'll find. I just don't think that paramedics come to kill you. Like, I just don't think that they just show up. I, I agree. <laughs> Looks like another job for us. You know that? Yeah, they killed everybody. They won't have a job. Yeah.
Um, let me get out of here tonight. All right, man. take care, y'all. Everybody, man. Hey, good we job, you guys. Back on YouTube, Thanks. man. So All right, Don, Bill, Razzle. See you guys tomorrow, Peace. man. Peace, Thanks Bye. for putting up with me, guys.